the goal of the water campus was to really capture our water resources within the city of Scottsdale. It came at a time when we had a lot of growth going on as well, so there was a need for infrastructure as well as a need to capture a water resource, particularly in light of the 1980 Groundwater Management Act, where it became clear to Scottsdale as well as other cities that we couldn't maintain our water by merely pumping groundwater. We needed to capture water resources within the city, and that included uh, recycled water or wastewater. Prior to the, the start of the water campus, majority of the wastewater is shipped off to the city of Phoenix. The wastewater that went to them, a lot of people don't realize it, but it's 99% good water. There's nothing wrong with it. The tricky part is getting rid of that 1%. So the city had to decide, do we, as we grow north, do we continue to develop our infrastructure, invest in that infrastructure, and send that wastewater to Phoenix, or do we develop infrastructure to treat it and keep it ourselves and use that valuable resource? The original concept here of the water campus on the wastewater side, to design and build a reclamation plant would allow us to get the wastewater up to a level to use for irrigation purposes, primarily on the golf courses. The key is those golf courses, there's 23 of them, they may use 20 million gallons a day of treated water in a dry hot June, but in a wet December they use nothing. So we needed to do something with that water. What we chose to do was replenish the aquifer. In today's environment, it, that sounds like nothing unique. But if you go back to the, when the water campus was planned in the, the late 80s and early 1990s, it was really cutting edge. That, that was a game changer for, for the city um, to be able to keep its own resources and put itself on a sustainable basis. The aquifer up here is a very, very good aquifer. It's a drinking water aquifer. So there's a lot of standards and restrictions on, on how we could recharge that aquifer. What the city did is they decided years ago to build an advanced water treatment plant that takes that water, further treats it to drinking water standards, and pumps it into the ground. The advanced water treatment facilities on the tail end of the water reclamation plant, that's what makes this site extremely unique. We're taking what's called tertiary effluent, treated wastewater, and we're running it through further treatment. We're running it through ultrafiltration, reverse osmosis, with additional disinfection, including ultraviolet fertilysis, basically gets it to drinking water standards, even exceeding standards. We pump it into the ground using what's called vadosone recharge wells. There's 63 of them on this site. Basically, it kind of does the same thing that nature would do where with a, with a percolation pond where water is set on the ground and percolates down through the soils. But here, with our vadosone wells, we're kind of giving it a jump start. We're pumping that water 180 feet down, and then it saturates through the soil about another 400 feet, and then it hits the drinking water aquifer. We recharge a lot of water. Because of the water campus, Scottsdale has recharged more than 65 billion gallons of water. The partnership with the golf course is a critical aspect of our operation. It's a very, very significant public-private partnership between the city and all the different golf courses in this area. Our partnerships with the golf courses are important. One, because they're an economic asset to the city. A study done in the uh, early 2000s showed that the golf courses have a $300 million a year economic impact on the city. Um, so they're an important part of our city and our business and tourism. Golf courses have invested in the, in the water campus um, and they paid for an expansion of the water campus and treatment facilities at the water campus. And the important part of that is that makes it so that our rate payers, our residential and commercial customers, they don't pay any added burden because of the facilities that were added for the golf courses. Our water campus is unique because it combines all aspects of a sustainable water system. So we have a water treatment plant that treats Central Arizona or Colorado River water. We have a water quality lab that does sampling and analysis for us. We have a reclamation plant that treats wastewater and we have an advanced water treatment plant that further treats that water. Most cities of a medium to large size do have a laboratory, but the majority of the labs focus only on compliance data. I mean, that's the data that's generated to meet some kind of regulation. We've been very fortunate through the years that we have gotten the support of the leadership, not just from the Water Resources Division, but also all the way up to City Council. We've been financially supported so that we could get the instrumentation we need so that we can go above and beyond, so that we can do the additional monitoring that we know helps protect public health. Without that kind of support, we would have only a laboratory that met regulatory compliance and nothing more. This is state of the art. It's unlike any other facility in the, in the world with all of the aspects of treatment and and water quality on one location. It also is a great 
educational tool for our staff, professional development, and for educating um, residents and other stakeholders. They could come to this site and literally learn about all aspects of water and wastewater treatment. One thing that we told our neighbors before we even started design is we would make sure that you didn't really see us, you didn't really hear us, and you definitely didn't smell us. And so the design had a, had a, had a big focus on the appearance. A lot of things here are subgrade, a lot of things are kind of hidden. The architecture kind of blends into the McDowell Mountains in the background. There's, uh, everything is covered, so there's a lot of odor control and mitigation. We call this our water campus, so we're very, very proud of it but I often take tours around when we stop in the middle of the facility and I ask the people to look around and I can tell them, I, I call it whatever I want, it's a sewage treatment plant. And you wouldn't know that standing right smack in the middle of it looking around. The Scottsdale Water Vision, water sustainability through stewardship, innovation, and people. It's more than just words to us. It defines this organization and what we want to accomplish for both our residents and customers.